Welcome uh, to the next video. Uh, we're going to start getting into a whole topic having to do with the personal value proposition. It's a real common concept in business settings and as an entrepreneur or a business plan is that you need to have a value proposition. And so that's essentially exactly what we're talking about here, that you have a personal value proposition. And we're going to go into some detail on how to help you develop that. And again, as a reminder, we're talking about one of the three elements that uh, all kind of come together to help you in the development of your, your sweet spot and uh, that are part of the whole idea of discovering the opportunities in the, in the marketplace. Now, very simply stated, definition of your personal value proposition is that unique value or somewhat unique value that you can bring to the job market that will essentially differentiate you from other candidates. Now, it would be naive to think that it's going to be completely unique, but you want it to be strongly unique. You want it to be something that everyone doesn't have and that sets you apart in the, in the marketplace. So as you go through the process of identifying uh, what is your personal value proposition, Ask yourself these questions. What is my unique or somewhat unique value? What is it that I do that, uh, that, is, that, is, that is special, that is unique? What evidence exists? And, and when you talk about evidence, is who, would, who would acknowledge that? Who would uh, endorse that you do that? What, what evidence exists? Do you have quantifiable evidence or do you have someone that would endorse you that confirms that 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 uh, that you have that unique value. So who would endorse it? Who benefits? There there's a whole concept in selling products and services, and and one that I want you to be thinking about in terms of where, what's the pain point out there? What is it that uh, that you can do and that value that you can bring? And who benefits? Who's 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 the tangible recipient of the of the benefit from what you what you bring. Um, for instance, do you offer unparalleled quality, or do you provide quick turnarounds, or do you enjoy solving complex problems? Uh, you don't want it to be too generic, but it, it, it needs to be tangible in terms of impact to the to the business environment. Now let's go a little deeper in terms of the impact in the business environment and what does that really mean. And what I challenge you to do is to think about your unique value proposition and how does it affect one or two or three of these factors. How does it affect people in the organization or the people that you come in contact with? How does it improve the lives of the people, help them be more productive, help them be better project managers or, or whatever, but, but you're impacting the people, improving communication, etc. The second thing to consider is how does it impact the customer? Anybody that's in business has a customer. I don't care if it's for-profit, not-for-profit, doesn't matter. Everybody's got to be serving somebody to stay in business. And so demonstrate, think about the value that you bring in terms of customer delight, customer satisfaction, building customers, increasing customers, satisfying customers, etc. And then the third factor to consider is how did you contribute to the financial bottom line? Did you improve the profitability? Did you reduce expenses? Did you increase revenue? Again, it doesn't matter the nature of the company, even if it's not for profit, they have to have more money coming in than they got going out. And so the, you can talk about the value that you can bring in terms of how you've improved the overall profitability of the organization. So think about what you do and think about the impact that it has in either the people and or the customer and or the business, and then use that to articulate your value proposition. One simple trap that you can fall into is confusing this concept of a feature and a benefit. Any product or service has features, but they also have benefits. Uh, something may be a certain color. That generally is, is the feature. The benefit is what you can do with the product or the, the service. And so you want to be able to be con conversant in those terms and think about the benefits of what you bring, not just the features. 
So here's some examples of features and benefits. And, you know, features are surface statements about you. Uh, maybe you've got a degree in supply chain or you're knowledgeable of pivot tables or that you're CAPM certified. Those are good to have. It's appropriate to put that on a resume and to talk about it. But those are features. They're really surface kinds of things. The benefits are the things that you're able to do that have direct impact to uh, to a potential client or customer. Um, did you improve customer satisfaction scores? Did you reduce the, 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 the one-time expenses uh, in training programs? Or did you improve the time to implement uh, the computer systems? What are the benefits? What are the outcomes? And you always want to be talking about tangible outcomes. And go back to that people, customer, and business slide that we talked about earlier. What's the impact that you've had in one or all of those areas? Those are benefits. So go beyond features and talk about tangible benefits. So we had a lot of things having to do with personal value proposition. And, and it's critical that you're really thinking about the value that you can bring in terms of people, customer, and business. There's some activities in, uh, in the passport that you might want to uh, take a look at. Uh, and it's all about uh, not only identifying the, the features, skills, certification, etc. But then how do you translate that into outcomes? Always be thinking about outcomes because when when somebody's considering you for a position, they want to know what you're going to do that's beneficial to their organization. And the more you can talk about outcomes, the more successful you're going to be in marketing yourself and talking about the value that you can bring. So thanks again for uh, participating in this video. We're two-thirds of the way to, through the process of identifying the elements that go into your sweet spot. Um, think about this stuff. Again, work with the uh, challenges and the activities laid out in the passport and other ways to develop your understanding of the value that you can bring. And always be focusing on people, customer, and business and how it benefits, not just the, just the features. Good luck.